So my current project I'm working on is, it's part of an empire, I guess I'd say, about work revolving around my dog, Guess. My dog, Guess, likes to pick up huge sticks. And so, of course, as one would, I've created several social media accounts for her called Guess with Sticks. I have a YouTube channel, uh, Instagram. Mm, I've done a few TikToks and a couple Twitter twits, tweets, but typically I use Instagram. And on that platform, I launch videos, not launch, I just post videos of her carrying sticks. Usually they're gigantic and she's a 15 pound dog. So it's hilarious, right? So um, over time, I've got a lot of dogs following my dog now. Not the lay, typical lay person doesn't realize that there are a lot of dogs on Instagram. And I'm really curious about dogs on Instagram as acting as avatars for their humans and humans being able to express things they couldn't in other ways. And I'm more and more seeing some people, they're very comic, like it's, it's kind of like a daily cartoon almost that the way they have their captions and the way they photograph their dogs. And there's also language that's developing specifically, um, that th the language that dogs speak. I don't like, I don't like the way they talk all the time. I don't like the silly pun or word plays like paw rinse or positive. I don't actually think that's really the way dogs talk. But dogs say some other things that make sense to me. They say friends instead of friends, because you can imagine that D's a little bit hard to pronounce and how would they know if it's a Z or an S, right? So sometimes they spell it F-R-E-N-Z, sometimes it's F-R-E-N-S. You know, why would a dog need to spell properly? It doesn't need to. They also say humans instead of humans. I imagine again, it's a case of a little bit hard to pronounce the U sound. So anyway, I noticed over time that Guess was getting a lot of dog followers. And once the pandemic came, well, once the lockdown hit, I decided to take some work time off my day job and dedicate myself to a full-time art practice for a while. And um, I also wanted to do something kind of, I guess, light, I wanna say lighthearted, something surprising for people. I felt really during the pandemic, it was important that people start, we all start playing to our strengths. And as much as I feel sometimes that that should be, I don't know, creating like food care packages for people. It's uh, maybe my strength lies more in in art and drawing. And it is something that people appreciate. So what I've been doing is I've been selecting dogs from Instagram and painting their portraits based on the photos I find. And then I post them on my second Instagram account called My Dogs Followers. Um, I like that title, it's just comic to me. Partly, I think, because of we idolize dogs, just the flip between that God and dog are, um, you know, the same letters flipped around. You know, dogs are so central to our lives for some of us, certainly for me at this point. And, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's necessarily, <laughs> maybe there is sometimes. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I've started painting these portraits of people's dogs and I post them on this page and tag the dog. Of course, the human finds out and in most cases or every case, they've been pretty excited and overjoyed. And I've had a lot of messages of like, that was, that was a really great thing to happen to me today because it's been a rough week. And I think during the pandemic, we've, yeah, every, a lot of people are having a rough time, even uh, if you're doing well in many respects. I think the strain of the uncertainty is getting to all kinds of people. And so it's nice just been to interject some humor, some beauty. Um, I also like the idea of taking time to sort of counter the concept of Instagram, this instant, flippant, um, 
medium. It's really easy to post something. You get that instant gratification. I like the idea of countering that and just um, taking time instead of being instant. The portraits take, I don't know, anywhere from five to eight hours, depending on the level of detail. If you're a good brindle bulldog, it's going to take a while. Lots of colors, big head.